I'm here at Queechee Gorge State Park. Jerry pulled in and Patty, and uh, they have a beautiful teardrop trailer. Timberleaf. Timberleaf. Timberleaf, okay. And they're made out in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. It's a classic. They have an off-road version. All-road, all they'll do a little bit off, you know, like stuff like this. Right now, I know it's over a year wait just to get in line. Yeah. So you're like about... It's like that at all the companies now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is wood and aluminum? Yeah. Uh, wood and, yeah, aluminum. It's completely sealed. You have two side windows, which I really like. Not many rigs have two side windows. Yeah, you have these high quality door bumpers and the shock absorber and magnetic. I mean, this is not going to take. No, no, oh, great, great magnetic door yeah. bumper. Good ventilation, I assume. Yeah, and you get, of course, you got this one here. It just pops up and, and mm -hmm. right there. So you got this. Here. Just squeeze this. It doesn't go up. Real high, but it's additional ventilation, which is really important in the you summer. Get the fan kicking, mm -hmm. it, just, it feels like air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have rooftop uh, vent, okay, and you have now you have a hot water uh, yep. uh, shower. Yeah, I uh, pressurize that. Of course, it's it's okay. You know, I'll use it at a time. I also have just a portable one that mm -hmm. I can bring into the sun. You have uh, like a, a shelf over here, or is that a uh, yeah. uh, or is that a cabinet? There's a small cab. Small yeah. cabinet there at the headboard. Okay. And down here you have uh, well, plenty of cabinetry. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. And uh, what's that down under the cabinet? That black square down there. That's where your circuit circuit uh, fuses are. Okay, it's electric cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a heater in here? Yeah, right there. And. Uh, oh, it's a Propex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very good. A top-notch heater. Propane. Yeah. Propane. Where's your propane tank? Is there a third trip with it? Uh huh. And Not your babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we had our what, maiden maiden trip in uh, maiden voice Acadia. Oh, yeah, that's Acadia a great place. Yeah, Bar Harbor. Harbor. Whoa, phone, yeah. I love it up there. Yeah, so yeah. We're going there after we leave here. This oh, would this would be for it's not hook up. I got mm -hmm. the stove hooked up to that. But this is uh, the Propex here. Okay, so you plug that into, that looks like a five pound uh, bottle. Yeah, and I'll get another one, and yeah. two, so if you run out. Yeah, no, it's a very efficient heater. It's yeah. a very efficient heater. Yeah. And you have a, uh, a little power station here. Now this powers the entire trailer, correct? Yeah. You have no house battery, meaning you have no battery inside the trailer. No. It's entirely run on this. Yep. Now, was that a choice that you made yeah. or? Oh, yeah, they, they did give you the choice of, uh, Ordering a battery with it. It's like like a an option mm -hmm. And I, I didn't think I need it. I, I thought I'd try something like this. Yeah So the system that Jerry chose to use is a uh, uh, One of these battery in a box things. He's using the EcoFlow uh, uh, You know Lithium battery box and what he's doing is he's uh, he's using the AC hookup to his trailer He's plugging it right into this EcoFlow box and that's powering the whole trailer and he's using his car and a solar panel to charge this so it's uh, Pretty nice. He has a 30 uh, 30 amp hookup, but he uh, he goes into here He uses a converter and plugs that right into the trailer. So it's a yeah. unique setup This is the first one I've seen like this, but it's uh, probably the the future of trailers yeah. I I added a link here to the video on DIY Outdoor YouTube channel mm -hmm. where Brian shows how to use one of these external battery boxes, these lithium battery boxes, rather than having a built-in trailer battery. If you're interested in that, check it out. Yeah, using a cooler now, probably. Cooler. Okay, and you have a potty tent here. Yep, yep. Good. This could be... It comes in handy so you don't have to go. Oh, yeah, the rain and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yes, very nice. You mind if I use it for a minute? No, just kidding. <laughs> I know. I'll keep the camera. <laughs> well, it does keep it sanitary, you know, if you go in. It's convenient. Yeah, you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. right. It's right. Yeah, no, same with hotel rooms. You know, when you go to a hotel room, yeah, a lot of people have right. slept there before you, but yeah. not with a teardrop. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you would liked it also, right, Patty? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just You know, when we pull into a parking lot or go into, like, a little town, Everybody's like, oh, I love this. I love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. less is more. So yeah. Much attention, yeah, it really. is. yeah, that's it. Less I agree. And you have here, oh, and as, like I say, it's our third trip as we take trips. I don't need to bring this. You know, I yeah. don't need to bring that. Yeah. Folding, uh, folding bicycle, you have one or two? Just one. Right? Okay, okay, good. Yeah. You, you do the run for, you know, getting stuff. This is what we tow everything. Yeah, what are you towing with here? Four cylinder? Four cylinder, yes. Yeah. Automatic. You can swing it over to manual and, and use the 
four, uh, six gears. Well, let's have a look at your kitchen. This is the real heart of the uh, the work. So you got a lot of room. Wow, great room here. Yeah. I'm impressed. Now, this, if you had a cooler, and it, you could order it with uh, through uh, Timberly. Yeah. We go in here and we just slide out. I like this design because it gives you total flexibility. Yeah. You know, that's what I really love about it. You have a lot of nooks and crannies to store things yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, too many times uh, makers decide what you should have, like a stove or a microwave back here. And it, yeah. it's really unneeded. You have a full function kitchen here. Yeah. They, well, uh, you know, this was... These are all optional, you know. Yeah, but, cook uh, partners. This is... A, they're like a, a famous uh, nice. stove maker. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. You got the wind wings on it, which are essential for when you're camping. Yeah. Completely replaceable. I, I like the whole setup. They're really nice. Yeah. Well thought out. Here's where the power comes in, of course. Get over here. Right there. You hook up. Now you can either go 110 or mm -hmm. uh, 30 amp. Yeah. Or go 220. Yeah. yeah. 220. Well, wow. If you uh, and, I got and what does that do? Oh, that's when you're in a campground. That'll give you out. How many outlets do you have on this trailer? AC outlets. Yeah, there's two right there. Yeah. Uh, there's two inside. Mm -hmm. uh, That's four. Yeah. Where else? There's a light here, right? This is two and two. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Two and two. Okay. So we on this, I got three over here on the battery. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And 12 volt DC outlets, you have those also? Yeah. Uh, in that's on that battery, but how about in the trailer itself? Well, once you once you uh, plug this in uh, to the battery, it uh, goes through the whole trailer. So you have 12 volt outlets around the trailer also, do you know? Yeah. And uh, you have nice jacks here. These are pretty some pretty stout jacks you have on yeah. here. Yeah. Like Tires are good. Yeah. And uh, this drawer under here, what goes under there? Yeah. Yeah, those are like 18 inch tires or something on here, right? So that goes in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's hooked up. So it's hooked okay, more storage. More a lot storage. of, you know, well, that, this is really the most configurable of trailers, right? I mean, yeah. this is exactly what you want. You have a nice deep sink, too. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. How is the water supplied? Is it an electric pump or is it a yeah. pump thing? Let's see. Let's see if they have that on already. Okay, good. And that's all powered off of the, uh, yeah. the battery. Don't waste your water. Yeah. Do you know how many gallons of water you have? That's a good question. I got, got the largest of the two. Okay. Uh, mm. 17 gallons. 17 gallons? Yeah, just there. Okay. And then your gray water is a bucket down here. Yeah, just, just yep, that's not perfect. You need that out west. If out west, a lot of times you're required to have a gray water yeah, tank. I, so you have to have something or you get a ticket. Right yeah. And you're doing a lot of your own cooking? Yeah, we're trying. We're getting started. Yeah. Good, uh, good. Yeah, us too. You know, uh, those rolls, thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, we made them yesterday. King Arthur, you got to stop there. King Arthur's uh, Bakery School. It's, uh, it's near here. They have, you know, King Arthur Flour, if you're familiar with it. We left there with like 12 loaves of bread today. Would you like one? Yeah, we love one. Okay, great. <laughs> Fresh baked today. This is All our boot. Right. Well, thanks, thanks so you. much. We really thanks. appreciate That's that. Nice. Yeah, with that, with the uh, that battery there, I got uh, solar when needed. You know, solar panels. Okay, it's a hundred watt panel. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. You have quite a uh, quite. So how much? Uh, how much did this trailer cost? Uh, I'm going to say twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Two eight. Okay. As is. I'm. You know. I'm very impressed. In the customer service is great there. Good. It's got a question or something. Like that. When it came, one of these was faulty. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, yeah. struts. Yeah. yeah. So I called them and they got had it there in day in a couple of days. And great. Just. Yeah, and now, you know, one of the great things about these things is the simplicity. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. It toes well. Towards well, yeah. You have a mammoth uh, front end on this on this trailer, uh, and these are some huge tires. I'll tell you that, boy, they are really big. Yeah. I wonder what the suspension is. Uh, it, it's a little difficult to see in this light, but it looks like a Timberin uh, setup with yeah. uh, drum brakes. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, very nice. Definitely meant for uh, some rugged road use. Yeah, yeah, you, could, you, know. you can stand on these. Yeah, you can stand on these. Uh huh. They're nice and make a little shelves. You know. Yeah, roof rack. Uh, skylight is very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Does that open? Uh, yeah, it's open right now. And well, I mean, uh, can you ventilate oh, with no, it? No, you can't. Uh, see if it's in the shade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ought to turn the lights off. Don't waste the electricity yeah. there. Oh, no, yeah. you're fine. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it has little little lights here on each end. You know, a blue. Uh, you hold it down, you get. Yeah, and the mood lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just a lock that uh, slides. Trimax, huh? Yep. Covers the hitch. Yeah, and it's uh, real solid. It goes all the way back. It slides in. Yeah. And, and, uh, Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you pull your hitch out and you put that in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, very nice, very nice. You lock it up. Yep. Has a lot of front end here. A lot of uh, you could probably put a platform yeah, on there or then something. I was wondering where's the best best place to shop for something like that. I don't know. You need to have that welded on, maybe or bolted on. Uh, yeah. Acadia four nights and here four nights. So you're like uh, under ten nights. You know, this is yeah, yeah. Yeah. how long are you out for this time a week? Uh, we're going from what? Uh, we got here four on days. Monday. Leave on Thursday, possibly. Yeah, well, uh, we may look for a couple more days. Everything yeah. was everything was all booked. Her birthday is on the second, so uh -huh. we, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we, it was great because we could come before and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Well, there's a KOA down the road too. I didn't want to go there though. I thought it was going to be too uh, too busy or something. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you a little tip here on the tra on the showers. Two quarters to yeah, get hot right. water. Yeah. I didn't know this. I, I had to learn the hard way. I froze oh. my uh, my rear end off in there. I took a cold shower. Oh, no, I put a quarter in. I'm like, wow, it didn't even give me any hot yeah. water, you know? But oh. it's two quarters yeah. for hot water. Yeah. Oh. We took some showers. You know, right? so these are the showers. And uh, what I'm seeing now, and uh, more than <laughs> a couple of state campgrounds, are individual bathrooms. I think this is a response to COVID. And uh, they're quite nice. Uh, they have hot water and uh, you know, if you're familiar with campground bathrooms, <laughs> not all of them are this nice. But uh, here at Queechee State Park, these are uh, fairly nice. Uh, so there's uh, one, two, three, four of them here in this section of the park. Small campground, not that many campsites, and uh, kind of nice. Another uh, COVID protocol is to leave the doors open on the uh, showers when you're done, let them air out. Good, good. I like you have a, uh, now this came with the trailer, this whole uh, setup, yeah, or did you yeah. add this later? This, yeah, uh, this uh, came with the trailer, along with the mm -hmm. roof shower. Yeah. Uh, so. And, it's great uh, for the rain, you know, if it's raining, you know. You I like it. You know, a lot of people are spending a lot of money on these heavy duty arms that swing out and have, um, you know, we're talking, you know, a thousand bucks at least just for that gizmo. And uh, they're very, all these things, they're like sails in the wind. I mean, they, they, they damage quite easily uh, uh, awnings. And, uh, you know, you make a huge investment like that. My friend had a $3,000 awning and, you know, one windstorm took it out. You know, uh, that was on a big, uh, big rig. So uh, just roll this up, put it in there. I mean, just make sure it's dry when you put it away. And very compact. Yeah. Have you had this out in wind? Um, not really. We haven't really had. No, we've been in summer. Yeah. You know, yeah. In the woods, I think mm. it, it backs down the wind. But and water doesn't pool on here. No. Nope. No, no good. Yeah. Okay. Great. 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 Good. Well, you know, some some people just design crap and stick it on there to sell it. Other people actually yeah. design yeah. it to be used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is actually an option. They have two or three uh, different uh, awnings. I actually bought a dome awning, and I have it. On, I have it, but. Oh, for like over the back hatch? I think on the back hatch. I was yeah. trying to figure out how to, how to, I'm quite figured out how to. Yeah, you'll take a look at mine. I have a clam shelter. I had it modified oh, okay. and it's like a little room back there, you know. Yeah. But again, 40 mile an hour wind or higher, got to take it down, yeah. you know. It's, yeah. uh, things uh, get windy. You got to take stuff down. Yeah. And that's, but you know, you sign on to that when you buy a teardrop trailer. You sign on to, I want the, na I want the whole experience. You know, if it's raining on my head, I don't, I just don't care, you know. Yeah. This is a, uh, a Rhino Rack sunshade and it's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, rather than go big, heavy duty and expensive, you know, with these swing out arms and all, this has just got some kind of a little uh, frame that you would, you put up. And what I really like about it is these legs are adjustable. So Jerry, when he set this up, uh, we had a lot of rain here. He just lowered one end for spill off. And, uh, and it looks pretty replaceable to me. I mean, it looks like it'll withstand wind somewhat, uh, but everything is adjustable. You can adjust the arms and you can adjust the legs to raise and lower this thing, which is a very nice uh, setup. I, I think uh, some people go overboard with these uh, heavy-duty arms that swing out, and they're quite expensive. Uh, and this thing looks pretty good. Rhino rack, huh? Rhino rack. Certainly worth looking at. And it's a sun something. Sun, sun something. something. <laughs> <laughs> Look up the rhino rack sun something. They, they make sun but all the construction looks pretty good. The corners are reinforced. Yeah. You know, all these things are very susceptible to wind. You know, if this is a boat and this is a sail, you could move that boat with this sail no problem. Yeah. 
So these forces are tremendous and uh, you need to be mindful of that in the wind. And you can come out by, you know, by feet or, or, or uh, Oh, you can adjust how far out you want to roll it out. This is fully deployed though, right? It looks like about uh, yeah. six, seven feet, I don't know, eight feet, I don't know. It's but like uh, yeah. yeah. Roll it that way to get a little more draw. Tension, yeah. Oh, it's it's, uh, it's good. I like it. I think it's uh, it's designed. You know, <laughs> they knew it was going to rain when they built this thing. <laughs> but this tows really well, right? Oh, how qu how fast have you gone on this? Uh, seventy five. Yeah, mine is stable as a rock. Yeah. You know, no sway whatsoever. No. I mean, you want to take it easy, changing lanes, but you know, you, yeah. you uh, stable as a rock. And how about fuel economy? Do you know what you're getting in well, fuel economy? I get normally twenty eight there, and uh, I just check. Uh, I. I I, 28 knot towing. Not towing and 18 towing. Pretty. It depends how hilly it is, you know. Yeah, it's like we Vermont's to, not flat. Yeah, yeah it's a, and we had to come up over Menden Mountain and all that. So, uh huh. So you lose there, but when you come back down the other side, you, screaming down the hill. You know, you know what this trailer weighs? Oh, 2,500 pounds probably. 20, that's uh, well, that's 20, a lot. I would. 23 maybe. Uh, that's a lot. Mine weighs 15. I I I'm gonna you know I think it. Well, it's possible. It's a big trailer. It looks pretty wide. Probably, uh, you know, it's probably in the neighborhood. Of, when they shipped it, uh, I paid for two thousand pounds. Right? Yeah. Well, that's shipping. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess 1500 I'm gonna guess but they, you, you have a lot of things on here you have a lot of water you have a water tank up yeah. top have you used this uh, heat heated shower at all uh, not yet no have you been able to get it hot yet uh, it's hard to do you know but uh, that's why I use I usually fill this uh, before I leave so mm -hmm. on the on the trip it's getting a little sun uh, yeah I'll pick up some heat that way yeah uh, this the down here the this is the the water tank, tank yeah, yeah. Um, that let me see if I can see little... the underbody is completely armored here you have a metal covering which is probably over the water tank or if it's not the water tank yeah yeah real nice yeah okay so good always, you know, save on gas mileage oh, oh, so, uh, so this was full coming over so it's a little bit overweight yeah and we wait till full. we get here to fill up the, you have an angled uh, funnel uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, so I have the same thing. Okay, great. You're uh, well prepared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my videos are about. They're all about like what to take, what to well, bring, you know. It's such a fun, you, you learn more and more. And That's exactly right. You know, I started off, I, my trailer was completely chock full of stuff. And now I take less and less, just like you. I mean, it's... Uh, it, they asked me if I wanted air conditioning with this. But, uh, it's an option. You yeah, know. I didn't get air. I have a 12 volt fan though. Okay. And that's, I'll show it to you, it's plenty, it's yeah. plenty, yeah. Yeah, well this, this fan here, let me see, this will crank up, I don't have too much of this. Yeah, 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 a roof a fan, fan, yeah. So you just hit this? And... Yeah. Uh, you know, your trailer, it's, in a lot of ways, it's, uh, it's outfitted like mine. I got the heat, I didn't get air. Uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. Also, your air conditioning. Yeah. So for your electric, you'll recharge from the car, from the solar panel, and from yep. uh, you know. Way over, I can. Uh, plug it in if you get to a campground. I can hook the. Uh, I got a cigarette lighter back. That's what I do with mine. I'm yep. charging mine uh, when, when I go out to dinner and stuff. I yep. do it. You yep. know. Yeah. There's a great Indian uh, restaurant in uh, a town with Dartmouth. Uh, Hanover. Hanover. Yeah. One of the things I really like about uh, camping is you can just get into town and get yourself a really gourmet meal. Uh, in Jewel of India, if you like Indian yeah. food. Yeah, very oh, nice. good. So this, this timber leaf has uh, 16 inches of ground clearance, which is uh, very nice. Thank you, Jerry and Patty, for a tour of your brand new Timberleaf Classic, wishing you both many happy adventures.